welcome to my channel. Hello kids, I'm your teacher Zell. Welcome to science class. Quarter 2, Science 3, Week 5, Day 1. Our learning objective, at the end of the lesson, the learner should be able to identify the basic parts common among plants. Today, we're going to study about basic part common among plants. Can you guess what is on the table? It is an animal or a plant? It is a plant. How did you know that it is a plant and not an animal? Are there any body parts that you do not see in plants? Yes. What are they? They are plants, do not have head, tails, feet, or wings like animals do. What do you usually know about plants' body parts? What body parts do you think will help you identify if the living things is an animal or plant? Any other body parts that can distinguish a plant from an animal? Plants have roots while animals do not have roots. What are the common basic parts that can help us tell that a living thing is most likely a plant. Do the plant body parts of different plants look alike? In what way do they look similar? In what way do they look different? These are the sum of the questions we will have in mind as we learn more about plants body parts. Now, let's unlock the meaning of the following words. We have here a serrated, two herbaceous, and number three, woody. Number one, we have serrated. Let's take a look at the picture. We have here a saw and a knife. Look at the edges. They are like small teeth. This is called serrated. Number two, we have herbaceous. Look at the picture. An okra, right? Any vascular plant that does not have through woody tissues. Not hard. Next, for number three, we have woody. Hard and rough, as you can see in the picture above. After learning about animals in the previous lesson, you will be exploring plants around us and know the plant parts common to most plants. Let me remind you class how to handle plants gently. After the activity, we will return them to soil so.
Do activity number one. What are the parts of plants? Part one. You're going to identify the parts of your assigned plant by placing a small tag that will identify the plant parts. The tags are roots, stem, and leaves. Afterwards, go around and try checking the other plants of the other four groups and see if there is something common among the plants. Using the table, place a check if these plant parts are present. We have here a table, roots, stem, and leaves. These are the guide questions. For number one, what are the three common parts of a plant? Two, compare the plant parts you observe in your plant with those from other groups. Do their plant parts look the same? Explain your answer. We have your Agumamela in rose. Eggplant, tomato plant, what are the three common parts and you saw in all part in all, all plants? We have the roots, stem, and leaves. How are plant parts similar or different from one another? Some plant parts differ in their shape and size. Some leaves have similar shapes but some leaves are bigger and wider than leaves of other plants. Some stems have turns while some have smooth surfaces. Some stem are woody, while some are greenish in color. Compare the plant parts of the following. We have here a mayana and oregano. Kindly look at the picture of mayana and oregano. Compare the plant parts of the following. We have here a tomato plant, rose, look at the stem of those plants. Oregano leaves are usually green, but the mayana leaves are reddish purple. The stem of the tomato is green, while the rose plant has thorns and brownish in color. The stem of tomato is herbaceous and the stem of rose is woody. Can you complete the sentence by filling in the blanks with the correct words? Now, this is a sentence. The basic part of the plants are the... What is your answer in number one? Roots, stem, and leaves. What parts are being asked in this illustration? of a representative plant. Write the name of the part. We have here, for the first one, we have a, a flower, leaves, stem, fruits, and roots.
Now, let's proceed to evaluation kits. Instruction. Read each situation. Choose the letter of the correct answer. For number one, which part of the plant absorb water and nutrients from the soil? A. Leaves. B. Stem. C. Roots. D. Flowers. Two. What is the main job of a plant stem? A. To make food through photosynthesis. B. To support the plant and transport water. C. To attract pollinators. D. To produce seeds. Three. Which plant part makes food using sunlight? A. Flowers. B. Fruits. C. Leaves. D. Roots. Four. What do flowers help plants do? A. Grow taller. B. Reproduce by making seeds. C. Absorb more sunlight. D. Store extra water. 5. Which part protects seeds and helps them spread? A. Roots. B. Stem. C. Leaves. D. Fruits. Here's the answer, key kids. Number one answer is C, two B, three C, four B, five B. Good job, kids. Thank you for listening. Thank you so much. See you next time.